Hi everyone and welcome to Finish Your Plate. Cannelloni might be an Italian dish, but for some reason I just have not been able to find the correct cannelloni pasta here in the US. It just doesn't seem to exist. There's all kinds of other pasta, there's all kinds of Italian dishes. So I was like, you know what, let me make a Finnish version of cannelloni. I brought the pasta tubes from Finland, brought them over, and I made a version myself that may ruffle some feathers with the Italians. So join me and I'll show you how to make this Finnish cannelloni. For the cannelloni filling, first we're going to make a very simple meat sauce. Ground beef, ground pork, about one to one ratio. Some celery, carrots, onion, garlic, tomato paste. First, we'll prep our vegetables. Now that our vegetables have been prepped, we're going to start sauteing the meat. Add a little bit of uh, oil in here. I'm going to do this in maybe about two batches or so. I'm going to add half the pork in here and a generous pinch of salt. And we'll saute this until the meat has been browned. Okay, so now the first batch is done. I'm just going to take it, put it in my bowl and continue on with my second batch. Now the second batch is pretty much done. And now we'll just add a little bit more oil. And we're gonna put our onions in here. We'll let them cook for just a moment before we add the other vegetables in. Now we'll add the carrots and the celery. Again, a pinch of salt. Now that the vegetables are starting to soften up, we're gonna add the garlic. And now we will add our tomato paste. and a tablespoon of bouillon mix. And we're gonna keep cooking the tomato paste just for a little bit. Now we'll deglaze this with a cup of water. Make sure to scrape the bottom. If you have picky eaters, for example, children in your household, you really don't want to see the vegetables. You could take a stick blender and then just uh, blend this through right now to get rid of those sites of vegetables. The vegetables will still be there. You just won't be able to see them. Now we'll add our meat back in and we'll add some black pepper, a little bit of ground allspice and some nutmeg. And now we'll add 
a cup of milk. We're gonna turn our heat to bare minimum and cover it. And we'll see it in an hour. So let's do a quick bechamel sauce. Just gonna add here some butter. About four tablespoons of butter and we're gonna put equal amount of all-purpose flour once the butter has all melted. We're gonna cook this just a little bit, couple minutes. Not really brown it because bechamel sauce is white. We're gonna start adding our milk. A little bit at a time. When you add the milk a little bit at a time, that eliminates the clumping. We're just going to let this come to a quick simmer. That way we know that it's at its peak thickness and then we can tell if the consistency is right. We're just gonna put in some white pepper. Some ground allspice. And some nutmeg. And we'll taste it before we add salt. This way we know how much salt we need. Now we salt it. And now comes the fun part. Here's the cannelloni pasta that I have. I brought this over from Finland because I just have not been able to find this pasta shape anywhere here in the US. Even though here in New York, obviously there's just a lot of Italian delis, a lot of Italian shops around, but they do not carry the cannelloni pasta tubes. They have manicotti, which is kind of similar, but at the same time, it's not the same. So, these ones are from Finland, and they look like this. They're pretty thin, so that means that the cook time won't be too long. Of course, the fun part being, how do you get the sauce in here? Now, I think that, that really the best way is just to use a spoon like this and just fill it up. I guess you could use a piping bag as well, but this works. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. So now we're just gonna fill up. Don't worry if, if you spill some over, it's gonna end up on the same dish anyway. There we go. And now, we're going to continue filling our cannelloni. And now we'll just ladle on some of our bechamel sauce on top. And so far, this recipe has probably been pretty palatable for Italians. But now comes the part that I'm sure will ruffle some feathers. We're going to put some cheese on top, but the cheese we're going to use here is a mixture of Swiss and Gouda. Those cheeses, Swiss cheese especially, are the most popular cheeses in Finland. That's why we're going to use Swiss and Gouda here. Now we're just going to foil these up. And these are going to go in the oven. 450 degrees, about 225 Celsius for about 30 minutes. Oh, for the last 10 minutes of cooking, we're going to take the foil off just so that the cheese can brown a little bit. And now our cannelloni is out of the oven. So let's serve a piece. All we got to do is just cut, kind of like you would cut lasagna, a piece of lasagna. There we go. 
And we'll add a little bit of Italian herbs as garnish. And here we go. Cannelloni, Finnish style. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Finish Your Plate.